Good morning and welcome to CareFest. Thank you so much for being here, where what unites us is that we all deeply care about care. Raise your hand if you have a disability. Paid leave. I wear many hats and I have many jobs and none of them come with paid leave. <laughs> child care. I couldn't find reliable child care. Care work. Care work truly makes all other work possible. A care infrastructure. Caregiving. Paid leave, elder care. Aging and disability. A lot of people with disabilities and elders have for too long been marginalized. How we see in media representations of care, of disability, uh, of the aging process are shaped in our minds and in our psyche because we watch. CareFest! Being here at CareFest with so many people, disabled people, older people, caregivers of all types, advocates, organizers, gives me such hope that when we come together, I know we can do anything. Things like this, CareFest, are an opportunity for us to find out ways to do this better. This is a silent thing that we do for the most part. There's not enough support. Generations of our families have been determined to advance our communities, to advance our economic opportunity, to advance the opportunities for our children, to advance the dignity of providing care. It's a movement. CareFest is a movement. And when I go back home, oh my God, CareFest is coming with me. We are living in a country that's always undervalued care. We're part of a beautiful moment in time where we are changing this together in partnership. I think we need to really unlearn the ableism that is so pervasive around us. What caregivers are doing for our seniors, this exploding population, is such specialized, honorable, yes. and dignified care. Investing in our seniors, investing with people with disabilities, and having them live in the comfort of their own homes, you can't put a price on that. What would it look like if the people who have the least got the most grace first? The vulnerability of the person getting the care and the person giving the care is, is so extraordinary that it is the most humanizing of work. It's just been really, really inspiring to hear everyone's personal stories with their relation to care, because really everyone has a story. If you have that backbone of childcare there for you, then you know it removes one less thing off your worry plate that you have to think about. Hollywood is very uniquely positioned to share these stories, to share the reality that so many people face. As far as the show is concerned and preparing for my character, I'm 78 years old. I don't have to prepare for squat. <laughs> this is the real me. Yeah. You would have shows that would tell stories about life and they didn't have to be funny all the time. They could have moments of reality and that's what connects people. Knowing where we came from and how we treated the caregiving in the past, it's so important to know how we can work better to improve it in the future. Let's do this work together. The beauty of this moment and of this movement of all of you beautiful humans is that we've left the old false choices behind and that everything we do now going forward is up to us together. And you know what? I believe in us.